Hello Legion, this is Hadrian, thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Polish Winter series where Arabia has just declared war on us. <laughs> I'm still like in absolute awe. Oh, we're gonna have to conquer Aleppo. Okay, I actually feel genuinely bad about that right now. All things considered and the timing of this episode. But aside from that, this is just a video game and we're gonna destroy them and it's gonna be fun. So speaking of destroying them, um, yeah, that's gonna happen right now, actually. Let's see if we can come right over here. Yep, we can, we can fire on you. Let's go ahead and fire on the archers there. Clear a path for our tank. They are nowhere near ready to tangle. Nowhere near it. Okay, you need to be upgraded. So we're going to upgrade that field cannon. This artillery is ready to fire. As is this guy. Right, let's go ahead and finish off some of these weaker units in the area. I don't know what they thought they were doing. This is quite possibly the dumbest move any AI has ever made in any game. But who am I to complain? All right, we're going to land our tank here on their territory. We are now officially in range of Cairo. So that tank could be in danger. I don't know how much damage they're going to be able to do, but... All right, I'm going to upgrade this battleship. All right, you now have additional an additional promotion that I'll use next turn. Let's go ahead and use Bedgush to fire on those archers. Oh, excellent. We just won that combat and then went out into the water when we won it. <laughs> okay. No questions asked, I guess. Can we fight this in the water? It's saying that we can. Of course we can. Okay. Again, I just, I believe what the game's interface tells me, even if it's lying horribly. Alright, let's upgrade this field cannon as well. We want as many machine guns as possible. We're gonna bring these mechanized infantry down. I just want these guys in generally better positions to land next turn. Oh man, this is this is going to be embarrassing. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is going to be a lot of fun. I am so excited that they stupidly declared war on me, but uh, this Inquisitor is still hanging out here. I can probably use him to great effect, particularly in Radom. Let's go ahead and actually even more so in Poznan. You go to Poznan, please. Okay, we can trade with anyone we want. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back to Tenochtitlan. Because money. And this unit I also want to have ready to land. I'll leave them there for now, though. I don't want to get all my units in the water before I have an exact idea of, of what's going on here. I'm not going to be too... Too trigger happy just yet. Okay, this builder can come down and improve that silk. That's just more silk. We already have silk. All right, this this ranger actually is really no longer needed. So next turn, actually right now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete him. Nice knowing you, buddy. Don't need you. I can see the whole world. Let's just take a look at the whole map for a second. Don't actually have monitoring capability over the whole world. We can only see what we can see, but that's a lot. Our empire covers a lot of ground. All right, let's uh, let's back out of strategic view and go to the next view. Okay, they are officially firing on my tank. How much damage they do to my tank? Oh, they have cannons. Okay, they might actually be able to do some damage. No, actually, they're barely hurting it. <laughs> oh, this almost makes me sad, but not quite. Hey, Rome wants to be friends. We are happy to let the world know we stand united as friends with the Roman Empire. 
Hell yes. Especially when the Roman Empire is still around at 1938 AD. Okay, this battleship is ready for a promotion. So let's go ahead and give them additional... Yeah, let's do bombardment. Bombardment will help it take out cities faster. All right, go ahead and sink that unit. Goodbye. All right, now this... Let's see. Is there a unit that's capable of firing on them right now? Not really. So I could fire on these archers, but then again, I could fire on these guys. Good night. And we can go ahead and land... Okay, that answers that question. We are able to attack from the shore. That question came up earlier in the series when I was unable to attack at that point. Um, or at least I felt that I was unable to attack. Maybe not actually the case. Maybe I could have gone up on the shore even though all the shore tiles were occupied. Alright, so this tank... You just need to hop back up here. Meanwhile, I'm going to blow the crap out of some of these units with my battleships. This is just... This... This is just so much fun. I cannot describe the extent to which I'm going to enjoy this. I didn't even intend to launch this war. Cairo did this to themselves. This artillery leveled up, so we're definitely going to give additional combat strength versus land units. And then production. Oh yeah, let's repair our factory here. Oh my god. Okay, let's get our mechanized infantry out in the water. Just to right there, because now we know they, they can't really be hurt. All right, we're going to get these me mechanized infantry over here so they're ready to land next turn. We'll have you guys wait, because you're trying to get past those units, I understand. You fortify until healed. You go ahead and... I want you next to Dalmieta. This is not going to end well for you, Arabia. I just want you to know that. Okay, we are still sending you... Why did you change your mind? I'm still sending you to uh, Poznani, so please take care of that. Alright, you're going to come south. You're also going to get in the water. You are going to come way down here as well. As are you. You just hang out for a turn, and now we are ready to make our natural park. There we go. Those natural park graphics were added in the um, fall update. Not the winter update, but the fall update. I like them, though. Makes it a bit more official. Now let's get the silk improved here and go to the next turn. We are friends with so many civs. The other ones hate us. This is a true World War type of situation. I cannot believe he declared war on me. That is just the, the height of stupidity. How dumb can you be? You're not strong enough to put a dent in any of my units, and you're promoting all of them by putting them in combat. Which is hilarious. Is that my Inquisitor? Oh, you better not be attacking my... Okay, my Inquisitor's over here. So they have an Inquisitor in my territory. Oh no, I have two Inquisitors. Huh. When did that happen? I don't recall that being a thing. Progress towards suffrage has advanced considerably. In order to rally people, governments need enemies. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. All right, so now we have access to uh, Levy on Mass, which will give us even more gold income than we had before. Yes, that's the policy I want. So we should go up to, yep, 152. Beautiful. Tank, I can promote you. Uh, let's go ahead and give them charge. This mechanized infantry needs to pay a visit to these guys. Hey, you made this decision. Don't look at me. Getting promotions for all these units as well, which is beyond hilarious.
Okay, I guess I just promoted that tank, so I can't do anything this turn. But guess what? I can do stuff with my uh, battleships. But first, we're going to sink that artillery. Because reasons. It wasn't a threat to me, but we're still going to do it. All right, we're going to bring this unit down here. Are our battleships eligible for a promotion? Do we have better... I think they are. Oh my goodness, missile cruisers. Holy crap. That's kind of underwhelming. <laughs> it went from this giant epic battleship to that thing. I'm sure it's powerful, but it, just, it looked kind of dinky. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, let's, let's give it barding. And then we need to we need to bring some more troops onto land here. Specifically our high-level troops. All right, so let's go ahead and start firing on the walls here. So we, we're not doing a ton of damage to Cairo, but again, this is their capital city. We shouldn't expect, even with advanced units, to just be able to march right in. It's not like we have giant war machines. Or I guess, I guess the technical term is giant death robots. <laughs> we don't have those quite yet. All right, so let's go for... Uh, we do need those those top level governments, don't we? We're a little bit behind on that. Um, let's go for ideology, so we have access to those. Capitalism is actually it looks like a dead end technology, so I don't actually need to research capitalism. I can skip it, which is cool in a way. Uh, let's go for power plant here, get that repaired. Uh, let's also go for let's go for the armory. Get some additional production in Radom. Perfect. Remove heresy. All right, Posen is officially a Jewish city. We also have another one down here. You can engage in religious combat, can't you? Major defeat. We'll tell you what. Just remove heresy then. Let's build up Judaism's influence in the area. And at the same time, let's see about getting some apostles of our own to pay to these guys, because we have plenty of faith right now. We could use faith to purchase all kinds of units. I'm not worried about it. Yes, I'm aware of it, but I'm not concerned about it. Um, helicopter might be kind of fun. <laughs> but I'm, I'd rather have the faith available for apostles. I didn't realize that they were encroaching as much as they are, but now that I know... Okay, that's that. I'm tempted to declare war just to get those guys to leave me the hell alone, but I won't. This is what uh, Scythia always does. Without fail. It's kind of annoying, being completely honest. Alright, so you need to definitely improve one of these fish tiles. Next turn, go ahead and get in the water. Alright, look, yeah, you can definitely attack from the land. That answers that question handily. All right, they're promotable, which is nice. You just hang out for a turn. You come around here, because I'm going to need you to land next turn. And you hang out as well. Hang out. Can I fire on you? Yeah, I guess I can. So we're completely decimating Cairo's army. We also have Cairo surrounded, so they officially cannot repair their city each turn. So this this war could very well be over this turn. You have gained a Cassus Belli to declare a war of territorial expansion. Or, I'm sorry, Cassus Belli. That's a common mispronunciation. You have gained a Cassus Belli to declare a war of territorial expansion on Montezuma. So we can actually, we can go to war with Montezuma now, just by virtue of how close he is to us. All right, so they're trying to attack my Inquisitor. I've got a lot of apostles that are ready to go, though. Ah, ha <laughs> ha we captured a Russian spy. Guess who's not getting their spy back, jackass. All right, two settlers about to be completed in the same turn. That's wonderful. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you were heading. <laughs> Lao Tzu. Okay, so 
what unit is promotable. This battleship is promotable. I'll tell you what, you come back here first. Let me upgrade you. That's the main priority, is to get these ships upgraded. Make them better. Then I'll bring them back into the fight. Alright, so this tank is definitely going to do major damage to Dalmietta. Oh, this is just funny. This is just funny. Okay. Let's wipe out this artillery. Which will now give us the ability to move additional units into position. Like so. Cairo is completely surrounded. And we can start doing damage to it. I'm actually going to kill that unit. Because I can. Oh, this is just funny. I know I've said that a million times now, but it's the truth. This is hilarious. It'll be a little bit more trouble to take care of these cities down here, but we're going to take them. We're going to take them, we're going to keep them. We're going to make Arabia pay for all their mess. We don't mess with Poland. <laughs> There's that uh, Arabian folk song playing again. We're going to make that stop playing. Actually, it probably won't stop playing. Matter of fact. Goodbye. Oh, so satisfying. All right, so we have some promotions available here. Plus 20 religious strength in theological combat. Can spread religion two extra times. Sure. Relic is created with this apostle to... Ooh, that's very good considering we're Poland. If you need a reminder why, let's have a quick look. All relics provide bonus faith, culture, and gold. Okay. So let's go ahead and give it martyr. And then there's one more, I think, right here. Yep. Ooh, apostle operates as a medic. That could come in handy. Go ahead and give you that. Now, research-wise, what do we need to research next? Looks like nuclear fusion is the way to go. That'll give us access to the Mars reactor. And then uh, composites, then nanotechnology. Why don't I go ahead and go for composites? That'll give us access to um, the modern anti-tank and then the modern armor. Build the great Zimbabwe, they said. Build it, build it, build it. Plus one trade route capacity. I mean... More important, though, we need to launch the moon landing, so let's do that. It's more important than the Great Zimbabwe. Just letting you know I'm reading your comments. <laughs> All right. Uh, here, though, we can build a Manhattan Project. Not that we'll need it, but it might be handy to have. Let's go ahead and have that building in, in Ginyazno. All right. This settler is going to head to that spot. It's going to be five turns. All right, so our Inquisitor here can also remove heresy from Leventa, or is going to have to... Okay, it doesn't work quite the same way. All right, just, just come here and fortify till healed. I'm so glad they can finally freaking fortify until healed. All right, let's see what the Missile Cruiser can do. Okay, that was satisfying. I take back what I said about the missile cruiser being dinky. That was uh, that was fun. I like that. All right, you fortify till healed there. I don't want to lose that unit, so I'm going to try not to. Meanwhile, this artillery can be upgraded to a rocket artillery because we have access to that now. Surprise. And is there any other artillery that I'm using that... Uh... Yeah, this mechanized infantry can be promoted to... Battle cry. Oh my god. So much death. Alright, let's go ahead and get a ranged unit positioned over here. Actually, it doesn't look, look like we'll quite be able to this turn. But next turn we'll work on that. We can attack Dalmietta from multiple angles and take the city down faster. A few of you were encouraging me to do this uh, during the war earlier. And I'm well aware of that. Um, let's go ahead and bring you on shore. Can I attack with any other cities? Yes, I can. Major victory. Not cities, but can I attack the city with any other units? 
This was an actual tank. I forgot we had the tank ready to attack. Okay, skip turn. Skip turn. Skip turn. I can't actually attack you, can I? No, it's saying that I can, but that's a total lie. Fishnets. Next turn. Oh, this is beautiful. It's 1944 AD. How ironic that we're fighting a giant war in 1944. <laughs> Cairo started it, though. We're the good guys. They've done nothing but pick fights with us for all of history. And now they pick the worst possible fight they could have chosen to. I am just absolutely blown away that this is happening. Alright, our apostles are going to be ready to fight them next turn, and we're definitely going to do some damage to them. We need to fight back against all these units that are coming into our territory. Alright, is this our medic? Yep, chaplain. Alright, so we need to bring this guy out here to this tile to help him heal this tile. Man, I'm having so much fun, I can't believe I'm already 21 minutes into this episode. Your progress toward class struggle has advanced considerably. Very nice. Let's go ahead. This battleship, or this tank, rather, is ready for promotion. All right, I need to move you on to land before I do anything with you, but I will gladly promote you. Let's give you a charge. And then this unit, I guess it's going to take a while to get you around, isn't it? Rocket artillery, can I maybe attack Dalmietta from there? Attack range is three, so yes, I will be able to fire on Dalmietta next turn with that rocket artillery. But guess what I can do this turn? <laughs> Missile cruisers are back. Oh, wow. I think we're going to be able to take down the Edda. Yeah, we are. Nice. Well, that went quickly. And I think we're going to take Cairo, too. This has got to be embarrassing for you. Poor Saladin. Poor, poor Saladin. Good night. Your city is mine. Thank you. We'll come again. Uh, what do we need? Um, we have access to new trade routes. Two more, to be specific. This battleship is ready for a promotion. Keep city? Yes, keep it. Alright, it's going to be a while before it's really productive again, but that's fine. Ah, Rome's modern theme is playing. I can hear it. Um, bed ghost. What? I guess, I guess I'll go to the trader here. We need more traders, evidently. Let's go ahead and get an encampment set up here. An aerodrome set up here. Okay, so we need to repair some of the central buildings here. Not a problem. Major defeat, huh? I guess because this is just an advanced unit. Alright, so we're going to finish off this Apostle, which will help reduce the religious strength of their religion in this area. We just need to get them out of our territory. Alright, that's done. If it is God's will that your people believe in our ways, who am I to stop it? Indeed. You're the one that... Oh, you did not! You did not! We're going to war with the Aztecs now. You have got to be joking. I was wondering why we got that warning. That makes perfect sense, though. Alright, where was this settler going to go? Hmm... Tell you what, I'm going to send him over here. We'll settle over here on Saudi Arabia. I don't know that we'll actually see a war with uh, with the Aztec come to fruition in this game. I, I actually strongly doubt it. But... Right, let's let these infantry take the day. Mind. Keep City? Yes, Keep City. So we now own Cairo as well, which I find hilarious. 
as I have thoroughly established up to this point. Uh, let's see what we can produce here. We do need to repair the granary first and foremost. Um, let's go ahead and start getting units moved back into the water. You're going to heal up for a turn. So are you. I want all of my units ready to go. All right, you can just stay put. You need to get back in the water. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Damn. Just accidentally brought another unit on the land when I did that. All right. Let's bring this machine gun down here because we're going to start heading for their other, their other places. Oh, hey, look. A random catapult. We're going to leave it alone. Man, I'm really mad that they forward settle me. I'm not surprised. They've been doing it. I mean, that was kind of more in the territory that I wanted to take for myself. I'm still going to bring my settler over here and, and, and settle there. Um, just to send a bit of a message. And maybe we can negotiate for them to just give up that city. Oh, did they finish off an apostle? Maybe they did. Yeah, they finished off an apostle. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of interesting religious warfare going on. So All this material is things a Sikh seem city. to have been composed of the hard and solid particles, variously associated with the first creation by the counsel of an intelligent agent. Okay, let's go ahead and go for nuclear fusion so we get access to the Mars reactor. How are we doing in Krakow? We're 14 turns away from the moon landing. So I would imagine based on where we have starports set up and where we're capable of building these various projects, I would imagine we're probably three or four episodes from a scientific victory. Let's double check our victory progress just to make sure that we are indeed still ahead. Yeah, we're the only ones that are even remotely working on any of these projects. Um, Science-wise, um, we have the most science per turn far and away. Let's have a look at the actual tree. Yeah, it, it's lumping four of us together, but we are the most advanced. Um, but in the meantime, it's not just going to be bor boringly watching me claw my way towards a science victory, um, or rather rocket my way towards a science victory, no pun intended. Instead, it's going to be, um, yeah, we have, uh, <laughs> we, we have some fighting to do. We might even go to war with the Aztecs before the series is over because I don't like being forward settled so closely. So we might, I don't want to take these cities. I want to destroy them. I'm probably going to declare war on the Aztecs, destroy that city, destroy that city, wipe them off the face of the planet, maybe even take this one out as well just to send a message. Uh, and who knows, we might use nukes to do it. But again, we're not pursuing a military victory, so if we did that, it would just kind of be a bonus while we're on the way to the scientific victory. Uh, we are, in fact, building the Manhattan Project, so it's it's a possibility that could happen. Whether it will happen just depends on how the cards fall in the next few episodes. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New historical and grand strategy videos air daily at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.